Nearly 50 people have been arrested after a night of rioting in North London. Petrol bombs were thrown, vehicles and buildings set on fire and shops were looted. As local people survey the damage, community and political leaders have condemned the destruction. This is a disgrace, as so many of my constituents have said to me as I've walked up and talked to them. It's embarrassing and I think it embarrasses the whole country. And no one's doing anything about it. Nearly 50 people are in police custody this evening after rioters attacked police, set fire to buildings and looted shops in Tottenham in North London. 29 people were injured in the violence, most of them police officers. Our correspondent has been monitoring events. That is just so sad. It's incredible. But the frightening thing about it is, is little kids, girls and boys. Innocent people, innocent. Look at them, it's just gangland. And no one's helping, no police is helping. Look at that, look at that. That is absolutely disgusting. I cannot believe that. It's lawless. It's lawless. I want to cry for them. I want to cry for them because someone's living there thinking that is someone gonna is someone gonna kill me today? Do you think Olympic Committee were wrong then to choose London? I think they were wrong because what they should say is that until we see a massive improvement that you have sorted out, you're never going to get this tournament. You do not deserve these, these prestigious tournaments in your country. Would you recommend families to travel to London Olympics? No chance. Stay at home, watch it on TV. Don't even risk it because you could end up, you know, you're coming back in a coffin. I can't believe it, it just makes me feel sick and I just feel empty just watching it. And also I feel hurt, hurtful because I know what those guys are going through. <sighs> I hate to live in a place like that. As recently as 2008, Sol Campbell was racially abused at a premiership match. I showed him our footage of Poland to see how the two countries compared. Incredible how organised it is. It's not like that in England. I know it was at one stage, but in the 21st century, this is on a different level.